of today is fundamentally changing business communication. Whether in an office or the field, on a webcam or immersive suite, video is increasing communication efficiency and reducing the cost of doing business for companies around the world. Video's popularity, however, has resulted in a host of terms, acronyms and technologies that can complicate finding the right solution for your organization. What do you need to assess to make the right choice? First, review your applications. Will video be used for face-to-face -face interactions? Content sharing? High motion graphics or more? What resolutions and frame rates are needed to ensure optimal experiences? How much bandwidth do you need? What about display sizes and types? And can you ensure the choices you make today will last into the future? Let's take a look at these technical variables and consider how they influence one another in different applications. The first factors most people consider with video are resolutions and frame rates. Right now, you're seeing me in 1080p resolution. 1080 represents the lines of vertical resolution, while the letter P stands for progressive scan, in which all of the lines of each frame appear in sequence. You may also see resolutions like 1080i, the I stands for interlaced, and generally in the world of video, progressive scan is preferred because interlacing causes details to twitter and blur at the cost of image clarity. Now let's compare the impact of resolution and frame rate on an actual video interaction. Lisa and Larry are in a traditional video conference that uses SIF resolution and about 384 kilobits of bandwidth. Now let's see Lisa in standard definition, or SD, which is about four times the resolution of SIF and requires about 768K of bandwidth. Notice the level of detail and clarity Lisa has over Larry. Now let's move Larry to 720p, also known as high definition or HD. 720p at 30 frames per second uses about one megabyte of bandwidth and is a primary driver behind today's widespread video adoption. In this interaction, Larry's gestures and expressions become immediately more impactful. Everything we've seen up to now has been shown at 30 frames per second, but now let's take Lisa to 720p and also double the rate to 60 frames per second. This mode uses about a meg and a half of bandwidth and is the equivalent of high definition broadcast TV. Notice that even at the same resolution, because Lisa is being shown at twice the frame rate, her motions are much smoother. Now let's move Larry up to 1080p at 30 frames per second, which uses about 4 megs of bandwidth. So as you can see, significantly increasing the traffic on your network does not necessarily translate into better image quality. Note, Lisa will appear in better quality as her frame rate remains at 60. This underscores the importance of display size in selecting the appropriate resolution. While increasing frame rate has the same impact on any size screen, the impact of resolution declines in proportion with the display size. For example, PDA or cell phone displays support low resolutions but look great because of their small size. As a rule of thumb, the human eye can discern 1080p only when the display size is equal to or greater than 70 inches and the viewer is sitting about 10 feet from the display. Not all video applications today involve face-to-face -face interaction. Now that Larry and Lisa have appeared to have made up, let's take a quick look at some applications illustrating the relative importance of resolution and frame rate. In this live musical performance, where motion smoothness and the ability to discern fine motor movements take priority, optimal viewing occurs at 720p resolution and 60 frames per second. Another example of where motion smoothness takes precedence over maximum resolution is in this clip, where a doctor is instructing a remote group of students in a new medical procedure, using captured video as part of his lesson. In some cases, though, clarity and fine detail matter more than motion. These examples from healthcare highlight the importance of maximum 1080p resolution. It's essential for the remote physician to see fine detail, such as an enlarged blood vessel or changes to the cornea. And in this example, the remote consulting physician sees the diagnostic image in 1080p high definition, enabling an accurate diagnosis of a patient hundreds of miles away. The importance of detail also extends into commercial applications. In these two examples, 1080p enables remote quality inspection of two very different products, a printed circuit board intended for use in consumer electronics 
and a garment being manufactured for the retail market. In the world of video, clearly one size does not fit all. Balancing quality with cost effectiveness by choosing the right combination of frame rate, resolution and bandwidth for your environments and requirements is critical. Whether you're video enabling desktops, conference rooms, lecture halls or immersive suites, we hope this video helps you make a more educated decision. For more information, we welcome you to contact your Polycom representative. Thank you for watching. If you want to find out more about video conferencing or video conference in London's products or services, why not visit our website at www.videoconferencinglondon.co.uk. Alternatively, you might want to follow us on Twitter, hashtag vc to world or for our higher division, hashtag vc2world underscore higher.